Bossing, skilling, guides. <laughs> hey guys, what is up? It is Scuzzy. Welcome to another Monday's journey. This is going to be journey 23. We got a little bit of news on the RuneScape page. Now that is update day. Now that it is update day. Left out a word there. So, uh, today we have a new quest. It's called Back to the Freezer. And it's a new penguin quest. We promised you a quest, and by golly, you've got one. Belly slide into the game right away and enjoy Back to the Freezer, the very latest penguin quest. You can start it by speaking to Chuck at the Ardoin Zoo. The requirements, you got to be a RuneScape member, you have to complete it, Ernest the Chickens, some like it cold, and you need to have 50 Divination, 45 Runecrafting, and 37 Slayer. The penguins are back for another slippery tale of subterfuge and ramshackle science that'll leave you questioning the very fabric of reality, as well as the good taste of its puns. Rewards include hearty chunks of experience to ward off the polar chill, as well as improvements to the experience rewards from Penguin Hide and Seek and the Circus. And with that, you're on your own. Why is my thing going up and down? And with that, you're on your own. Can you circumvent the latest flashpoint in Gilnor's Coldest War? There's only one way to find out. Enjoy. There's nothing more RuneScape than a quest about penguins, and Mod Helen and Mod Nexus have really put their all into this one. Have fun and let us know what you think over in the forums. Um, so before we go into the game, I'm going to look at the patch notes really quickly. Uh, there's not too much stuff. Mainly the stuff that they fixed were uh, the skill cape perks that were having issues with uh, certain different things. I'm not even going to read them, but if you want to see what's going on, then uh, check out the quick link up in uh, the top of the screen and in the description. So I just tried to wear my completion escape. It says I need to complete all the quests and unlock two more pieces of music. So if we open up our uh, F3 and go to the quest tab, back to the freezer, I just want to see if there's any required items. Combat equipment, protection against desert heat, insulated boots, and an ice cooler uh, obtainable from Slayer Master or from other players. So, insulated boots and an ice cooler, protection against desert heat, and combat equipment. Okay. So, I will pick up those things and I'll meet you back here. Probably one of the easiest ways to pick up these items is to go... Uh, to Mastina, it's like literally right next to the kin of Slowstone. Uh, you can pick up your ice coolers here. I already had some because I was doing some uh, crappy Slayer assignments for um, a for my retrimming series, and then you can also pick up insulated boots here. And I also I also got my desert amulet for just in case if I need to teleport to the desert. I just need to grab my max cape. I should have brought that. Okay, so we're here at Chuck the Polar Bear. Uh, I guess we just talked to him. Why do I have prayers on? Hold on a sec. There we go. Talk to him. Hi, Chuck. How's it going? Uh, it's because it's good to see you again. So, yeah. I think I'm just going to speed through this quest. Uh, speed up the clip through this quest. I don't know how long it's going to take. Um, so, yeah. The weather on White Wolf Mountain is frosty and the monkfish are to die for. On White Wolf Mountain, frosty, the monkfish. So... Okay, I don't know. I guess I won't forget it this time, so... Chuck said I should seek out two PBJ agents called Scott and Mudson who are located in Re Releka. Uh, Chuck gave me the passphrase to identify myself. The weather on White Wolf Mountain. Okay, so gotta go to Roleca, I guess. What the hell? <laughs> Alright. What 
us, I guess, go to the desert. Emperor Wing, Lara, Penguin, Henchman, Elon. Okay, so they want us to go to Pal uh, Palnib Nietzsche. So I think I have one of those in my bank. Yeah, there we go. Talk to Dundee. Gives you a croc speak amulet. Equip to end speak with the croc. So we need to investigate this. The TARDIS. There's a small sign that it reads, Terraforming Arctic Refrigeration Dispersing Ice Spreader, maybe. Oh, no, Ice Spreader. Maybe this is how the penguins are planning to lower the temperature of Gilinor. I should tell Chuck about it. Alright, so we're gonna go back to our Doyne. The only thing I, know, I do know about him is that his favorite food is sardines. Maybe that'll help some. Is that, is that you take your penguin disguise with you, otherwise the penguins won't talk to you. Yay, he's got a spare. Thank you. So, um, we go back to Polonivnich. Go to the snow-covered area. Your cape, main hand, and, uh, off hand must be empty. And it should automatically put on the, the, uh, the penguin suit once you're here. When you get in here. Um, yeah. I didn't even click on it. Oh, that's so cute, man. So cute. Okay, so I'm a little penguin. And... <laughs> now what? Must speak with Emperor Wing. Which is where... Penguin Henchman. Here he is. Ah, that's the pilot. We wondered where you got to. I banged my head, went to lay down. I don't really remember what happened. We brought the TARDIS here to begin the process of lowering the temperature of Gilinor. However, something went wrong and we crash landed here. Now the TARDIS is malfunctioning. It was to be a glorious and epic mission. We had a party before we left to send us on our way. We were each served our favorite dish. There was mackerel, sardines, shrimp, and anchovies. We were uh, supplied with emergency items just in case that would help us with our mission. There was black ice, vanilla ice, cyan ice, and yellow snow. I didn't pay much attention to anyone else, but I had a mackerel. It was delicious. Okay, so he's not the guy. Let's talk to Gordon. Uh, what happened to you at the party? It was a great evening. Luckily, I didn't have to eat any anchovies. We were all given some emergency items. I lost mine, but I can tell you that Hugh and Cyan, uh, Hugh had cyan ice. So, okay. Um, let's talk to Hugh. No, we gotta talk to Elon. This guy, this guy. No. Where is he? Where the hell is he? You. Elon, there he is. Don't you remember how much we laughed at the navigator getting, getting given a vanilla ice? What help is that going to be? Okay. Oh, we do need to talk to Hugh. Okay. Um, where'd he go, though? He's so hard to click on. Okay, here he is. Hugh. What happened? I think this guy is, uh... I'm not a fan of parties. I mostly just sat in a corner reading some medical books. I do remember noticing one of the guys doing some pretty bad dancing. He had yellow snow in one hand and some shrimp in the other. Uh... We brought the TARDIS, okay. Okay, so if we look in here, I might be able to use this information to find the PBJ Asian. Spoke with Emperor Ring, Wing, and he said he had mackerel, 
Elon is the engineer. He said he, the navigator's emergency item was vanilla ice. I spoke to Hugh, the doctor. He said that he saw a penguin with yellow snow in one hand and some shrimp in the other. And I spoke to Gordon. He said that he was glad he didn't have to eat anchovies and that Hugh had cyan ice. So the navigator is Gordon and he had vanilla ice and anchovies. No, he didn't have anchovies and he had vanilla ice. Hugh said that uh, he saw a penguin with shrimp and yellow snow. Uh, okay. Hugh had cyan ice, so he couldn't have. He couldn't be the one. He had vanilla ice. Hugh had cyan ice. So that means Elon had yellow snow and shrimp. Hugh must have had the anchovies because Gordon didn't have to eat the anchovies. So Gordon is the spy for me. Good, I got it right. Who are you? You look familiar. We're the one on TARDIS. I don't understand. Never mind. What do you want? How do you know who I am? Chuck sent me to find you what's happening here. The penguins have been building a doomsday device in the secret bunker underneath their base. You can see it here, the terraforming Arctic Refrigeration Dispersing Ice Spreader, or TARDIS for short. Its purpose is to change the whole of Gilinor to be a per permanently frozen Arctic tundra. As you can see, things haven't gone quite to plan and, we're, and we landed in the desert. But the machine is still gradually turning the desert into a giant ice rink. Oh no, if the only there was some way to stop them. We can't sabotage the TARDIS while the crew and the henchmen are around, but there may be another way. There's a device back at the iceberg I've been working on during my Twiblick All Day Passion Projects time. What's that? Oh, it's time we allocated to work on our own things. The things we're really passionate about. Sounds good. So, what have you been working on? It's called Deloring Device. What does it do? Well, put simply, it's a temporal displacement device. Huh. It makes time travel possible. Okay, so we gotta go back. Uh... Wait, he gave me a code. Uh, the entry code is one, two, three, four. All right, so leave your penguin area, and like they can't see this, man. You can't see that happening. You dumb penguins. Okay, so teleport to the Fremenic Province, and then go north to the boat that will take you to uh, the lair. Twelve bits to the east, six places to the south. Three east, three south. One and one. Here we go. I got a Baron Shark. Head 37 paces to the west, 22 to the north. So we'll just go this way and see what the hell happens. Using GPS. Four paces to the north and then 20 paces east. So probably like over here. Yeah. Like right here. Ish. Three paces to the west. There we go. This doesn't seem to be the right place. You find a small tin containing a single fish with the property of Gordon. Fins off. Scrawled on it. Best leave it there. Head 20 paces to the east. Head 11 paces to the south. So, something like this. 1 east, 7 south. 4 south. 1 south. Three east, eleven north, thirteen north. Right like here. Two paces north. Five paces west, five paces south. One pace south. Here we go. 
I need to be wearing my penguin disguise before I get in there. Oh, Jim the polar bear can help me out. Hey, buddy. So, tuxedo time. The hell, he's just sleeping, man. Alright, let's go in uh, here. Uh, one, two, three, four. Pretty damn easy. You want to head to the middle area and then go to the locker room and rummage through Gordon's locker. Then you want to go to the northwest room and peruse the ice shelf and grab ice cubes from the ice maker. You want to head to the room that is southeast from the main room, but not Gordon's room, and search some of the crates to find the flax and a hammer. Head to the northeastmost room and search the cupboard to the north of the room to find the old hat. Once you have all these items you want to use, one of the items on another item, you'll get a flax capacitor, which is a spoof on a flux capacitor. Then you want to use the DeLorean device incomplete on the flax capacitor to get the DeLorean device. You'll be sent to a desert island with some monkeys on it. Just grab the wrench that is on the northwest side, use it on the DeLorean device, then activate it again. You'll then be teleported to an area that's fenced in with some cages. Just grab the penguin bongos and the cowbell, use them on the DeLorean device to fine tune them, then activate it again. You'll be sent to an area with cabbages. Pick up a cabbage and use it on the DeLorean device to prime it. Then activate it again and you'll be teleported to a mining area. Find the guy that has the dragon pickaxe. Talk to him. He'll give you some worn old shoes and use the shoes on the DeLorean device and use it again. You'll be correctly teleported to the penguin hideout. You want to make your way southwest to Gordon's room and talk to him about what has happened in the future. He will tell you that you gotta get a couple of items, go to the middle, speak with Elon, and he'll give you a list of items that you need to get. So head to the jail room, which is the easternmost room right in the middle, and speak to the killer watt, and he'll give you 21 kilowatts. Head to the south room, pick up the fishing rod, then head back to the southeast room but not Gordon's room and search the remaining crates to get a cog and an ant pouch. Head to the west room just above Gordon's room and pick 2000 snow. Then from there search the crate, grab a lemon and clean off the mysterious ice block. Then use the ice block and you'll get 2000 lemon soul runes. Head to the northwestmost room and use your ant pouch on the ice maker and use an ice core on the ice maker as well. For this next part you're gonna actually have to leave and go to Draenor Village, go to the top of Draenor Manor and kill 10 kilowatts in the dimensional plane. Once you have all of the kilowatts then you can go back to the penguin hideout and go to the middle, speak with Elon again, and give him all the items. Make sure that you have the energies that is discussed from the beginning of the video and put them into the energy bin. Once you've done that, you'll have a puzzle that will come up where you have to uh, figure out the uh, correct sequence. You can have multiple colors in there. It doesn't have to have one of each and I only just figured that out at the end. Basically, you want to have them all to be gray blocks. If they are, if there's a gray block, that means there's one piece in the correct area, and if you have a white block, that means there's one piece in the incorrect area, but it is the correct color. So the idea is to get all four gray blocks, and if there's a piece missing, that means that that color is not actually included. And in my case, the green color was not actually included. Once you have that, you want to talk to Elon again and tell him everything's all set. You want to go back to Gordon, let him know everything's good. You want to go to the northwest room and talk to Hugh, and he'll say he's ready to. Then you want to go back to the middle room and talk to the uh, Emperor Wing. You want to go to the middle and you want to activate the uh, machine. Cutscene will play. It'll go back into the desert just like before, and you're kind of baffled. But uh, this will be live commentary after now. Okay, so search banana tree. Ow. 
Okay, so... Now I report back to Chuck. Apparently. There we go. So, I think this is the end of the quest. Just gonna go in here and then go up. And then talk to Chuck. So apparently, uh, Gordon still sabotaged it anyways. So, I, I, I don't know. That's the issue with time travel. Hey, Jack, how's it going? Ask us, it's good to see you again. Uh, back to the freezer quest. I travel back in time and... Let me stop you right there. Gordon sent a report over to me. I know all about it. Oh. But I don't understand. Gordon sabotaged the TARDIS in the past, but it's still in the desert and is making the area cold. Nothing's changed. Don't you see, the TARDIS was already harmless when it landed because it had already been sabotaged. What about all the ice? What about Gilinor? Gilinor will be fine. The TARDIS isn't working to full capacity, so the heat from the desert will keep the ice level under control. What about Croc? He'll still be cold. I'm sure he'll... I'm sure he will adapt. Besides, there's a whole wide desert he can explore. Oh. Don't be sad. Have some rewards for your trouble. This is like a whole, that was so pointless. So, um, let's see. One quest point, 25,000 divination experience, 25,000 runecrafting experience, 15,000 slayer experience, 15,000 agility, 10,000 invention, one additional penguin hide and seek penguin to find each week, penguin hide and seek, and Bathazar's big top bonanza XP now scale with the level and two treasure hunter keys. Okay. And can I wear my cape again? That's the question. Can I wear my completionist cape again? Yes, I can. Awesome. I think that's going to conclude today's episode. Um, come back tomorrow. There's going to be a really cool video. Um, I'm not going to say what it is, but I'll let the suspense build until tomorrow. I'll post it relatively early in the day. Uh, so probably within maybe 14 hours from now. It's already recorded, I just gotta edit it and upload it, and I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna like it. So, until then, I'll see you next time. Peace. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great day. Follow me on social media and subscribe for more. Peace. Lions roaring in the morning sun Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come